Hello traders and welcome to another video review. Today is Tuesday, June 11th, 2024. Let's find out what's going on on the economic calendar today. Now business confidence data from the Australia were worse than expected and the um, actual number was minus three points only, while the previous one was two points. So this is a big decrease on the uh, business confidence in Australia. Uh, we are still waiting for the uh, data from the uh, UK uh, average bonus, uh, average index index plus bonus, climate count change, employment change quarter to quarter, and unemployment rate all are uh, scheduled for release at 8 uh, a.m. OPEC monthly report will be released at 1 p.m. and at the same time ECB Lane will give a speech uh, as uh, well. Building permits uh, data from Canada are scheduled for release at half past two and at six o'clock we got the EAI uh, short-term energy uh, outlook at the eight uh, at six forty-five. We have the ECB Elderson speech, and then we got a uh, ten-year note action at seven o'clock. And API weekly crude oil stock uh, data are scheduled for release at half past ten. So, pretty uh, average um, day uh, on the forex market with plenty of data from the UK. That might be the main. Uh, event uh, of the day but first uh, during our technical part let's just uh, take a look uh, at the euro dollar first for our chart of the euro the dollar is uh, looking uh, bearish uh, right now after the uh, level of 1.09 was uh, rejected and the market as you can see is uh, moving way 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 uh, lower if we mark the, the trend line uh, from the lows of one point uh, um, 06 uh, then you can see that uh, even with this kind of a data uh, when we mark it uh, uh, on the extremes we have a breakout uh, lower we have a breakout to the downside and um, the new local low was made at the level of 1.0734 uh, so this level is as well the oversold uh, level extremely oversold uh, level now the market is trying to bounce from this uh, from this level nevertheless we got uh, plenty of the uh, technical levels ahead of the bus uh, one and the key one uh, the first one and the key one is 1.0789 this is the uh, technical uh, resistance of course uh, so this ma this level must be violated in order to uh, continue to the to the upside so it will be of course uh, strongly defendant uh, uh, defended by the bears of course and as you can see uh, just because we are very very close to the uh, orange trend line this uh, trend line will act as the technical uh, resistance as uh, well we might add one more um, level here uh, this level would be uh, added somewhere around 1.0805 and this level uh, now constitutes uh, th those two levels now constitutes the uh, supply uh, zone so uh, we need to break way above the supply zone in order to continue the uh, upside uh, movement uh, on the other hand where are the technical su uh, uh, supports obviously 1.0602 this is the technical support which is uh, very very uh, important uh, for the uh, for the bulls which is why uh, this is very uh, thin uh, red line and of course uh, we got another technical support uh, market might hit it uh, even uh, even today or sooner 1.0725 uh, there is uh, technical support number two and this is the low from the first of may 1.0 06 uh, 50 so those are the technical support uh, levels and the technical resistance levels on the four hour chart uh, due to the extremely oversold conditions the market temporary uh, the, the, the current um, uh, short term outlook uh, remains uh, bullish but please uh, be careful with the supply uh, zone resistance let's take a look at pound for our uh, her time frame chart of pound might be showing us very similar line from the lows of 1.2298 uh, and as you can see 
this line is acting very very uh, nicely just uh, recently we got the uh, test of this uh, line just r uh, roughly around the level of 1.2687 and we have a bounce so so far if we mark this line like this uh, this line is still providing us with the uh, technical support dynamic uh, technical support currently the market is um, consolidating around 1.27 34 uh, just above the um, 100 periods moving average located at 1.2721 nevertheless the market is still locked between both of the moving averages 50 and 100 uh, periods so there is no decision where this market should go right now the immediate technical resistance is located at 1.2742 and of course the next uh, technical resistance uh, is located at the unbreakable so far level 1.28 um, 16 so this is the uh, the major uh, technical resistance i will make it thick uh, figurette so everyone can can see it on the on the chart the immediate technical support on the other hand is located of course at one point um, on 2680 uh, this technical support is very very close to 1.2675 uh, so we got very nice uh, immediate uh, technical support zone on the four hour chart uh, that is preventing the uh, market to move uh, even lower next technical support is 1.2642 which is uh, very uh, very strong because it's uh, very close to the other technical support 1.2633 and both of them will uh, will um, constitute the um, demand zone uh, on the four hour chart of course so this is the key zone on this uh, time frame that needs to be violated by bears in order to uh, for the market to move lower of course if this zone is violated we are uh, below the we are below the uh, both moving averages and below that trend line as uh, well we should be at least momentum is uh, at the level of 45 points is rather um, negative uh, bears are in charge of this uh, market and uh, uh, in, um, in this scenario it looks like the level of one point uh, 2742 which is technical resistance will be um, will be basically um, acting very very strongly and any uh, attempts from bulls will be capped at this level uh, because of the uh, data from the Canada let's take a look at the Canadian uh, dollar what is the Canadian dollar doing as you can see on the four hour chart uh, we've been moving up and down up and down uh, for quite some uh, some time and we still have this level here 1.3845 which is the technical resistance very very strong uh, technical uh, resistance uh, that has not been seen uh, as a uh, uh, violated yet has not been seen violated uh, nevertheless just recently we've been trying to break above 1.3781 which is another technical resistance as you can see the market was rejected from this level let's just uh, take a closer look uh, we got the rejection we got the, the bearish and golfing pattern some kind of a pin bearish uh, price action uh, but in very limited uh, range 1.3780 1.3752 so it's not even 30 uh, 30 pips despite the fact that the momentum is uh, right now coming off the extremely of about uh, conditions on the four hour chart we might be uh, seeing uh, support located at one point uh, 37.42 uh, which is still uh, above the uh, 50 and 100 periods uh, moving uh, averages so for now the US dollar to the Canadian dollar is not uh, really um, doing any exciting uh, things so that's the that's the analysis of this of this pair and of course at the end let's just uh, take a look a little bit at the uh, at the Bitcoin as you can see we got here uh the, let's just uh, take a look at the daily time frame chart um the recent days here uh, were very very productive uh, for bulls because they were trying to break back on above the seventy two thousand uh, dollars they didn't make it quite right uh because the all-time high is still seventy three thousand eight hundred and fifty nine according to this uh, chart still not uh, violated uh, but the 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 bulls tried many many times to to break above this uh, levels uh, level um, 72,777 is another example of the 
nice technical resistance and 71973 is the last one that constitute the uh, supply zone so as you can see they tried once and there was a, um, a pin bar rejection there we have we have the dark cloud cover um, on the uh, june 7th and just uh, today we got the breakout below um, 50 periods moving uh, average and we might be uh, seeing uh, some sort of the movement lower even towards the 60,164 where the um, 100 periods moving average is momentum is, is uh, at the level of 48 points so it's not positive anymore it turned sharply uh, from the uh, level of 56 so right now bears are temporary in charge of the market the last very important thing i would like to point out on the daily time frame chart is a, a, a breakout a breakout a below this trend line just take a look at this uh, this uh, trend line it looks like the solid trend line that was tested many times let's just uh, move a little bit closer to investigate this uh, this trend line it's been it's been tested many times here it's been tested many times here it always provided the support even during the uh, rejection we got this a movement to the downside that has been closed uh, on a daily candle above this uh, trend line then we got a few days of um, of a consolidation a slight pullback and then continuation of the uh, breakout where is the next uh, local technical support on a daily time frame chart it would be 66,570 uh, five and then there is a 60 uh, 6268 if we break below this uh, two levels the next target is 100 periods moving average located at 63,864 uh, as the target for the best that's everything from me for today thank you very much for watching this analysis and i hope i see you guys next time so take care and bye bye